right now you're hearing me speak through a 1932 RCA PB90. 1932 is the first year that RCA started making ribbons, so this guy is quite literally one of the first ribbons ever made, which is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> so the PB90 was the precursor, I think, to the 44 series. It came out just a little bit before the 44A. And on paper, at least, they kind of advertised it as a more basic version of the 44A. So it's an earlier version of that. On paper, it rolls off the lows and highs a little sooner and later than the 44. So when you look at the frequency graph they posted in 1932, it looks like it's going to be just super dark sounding, horrible. But, you know, frequency graphs only tell you so much. It's, it's a really good sounding mic, and it's got its own thing going on. But, you know, considering it's getting pretty close to 90 years old, it's pretty amazing. This one was serviced earlier this year by Clarence Kane at ENAC. Um, he put a new ribbon in and did some other things to it. But And the comparisons that we're going to have, we're comparing this guy, this 1932 PB90. We're going to have an RCA R80, or I'm sorry, an AEA R88 which is their stereo mic. And I'm just gonna use one side of that. And um, the R88 is kind of a, lineage wise, it's a more updated version of like the 44. Same ribbon motor and everything, but I think the magnets and a bunch of other things are a little different. So a more modern, probably open sounding version of the 44. Then the other AEA mic that we're going to compare to is their N22. The N22 is one of AEA's active mics, so it's got active circuitry built into it. And um, just for comparison wise, it's a very modern version of a ribbon mic. So all of these have the same ribbon material inside of them, which is great for a comparison. So all we're hearing is basically all the differences of the things that are built around the ribbon. So, you know, you've got the magnets and the transformers and everything. So it'll give us a good basis for hearing how different they all sound. And um, just besides that, just like I said, this is kind of a lineage and a history of how ribbon mics have evolved. And these are three great comparisons to kind of hear how they've changed. So let's go ahead and we'll do some comparisons. San Francisco I let myself go But not in the ways That all of my friends said Would help me to grow Slept through the days Worked in the night Wrote songs in cages In beautiful places I'd never afford 